Welcome to part one, section 1B, the customizable features of the flow sheet. In this section, we will show you how to access, create, and use a flow sheet for patient care. Flow sheets are customizable spreadsheets in eClinical Works. These are useful for tracking certain patient-specific data, such as vitals, laboratory values, diagnostic imaging, immunization, and prescriptions over time. Developing flow sheets can help you keep track of overdue screening and to manage patient progress in condition treatment. Okay, now let's begin. First, let's access a flow sheet. Open our patient progress note. Along the patient dashboard, we see flow sheet between patient docs and notes. Click it. The flow sheet window pops up and on the left side is a list of current flow sheets. The names in bold are the flow sheets that are related to the patient's problem list past assessment. Click on the diabetes flow sheet. We see here that any results or information obtained for the items associated with the flow sheet would appear under the appropriate encounter date. Now try it. The date range can be altered along the top with the pull down calendar. We can also check the box for due date and a new column will appear in the flow sheet to serve as a reminder for the provider and to check compliance with guidelines. The flow sheet can be printed from this window or exported to Excel. As an Excel spreadsheet, the document can be printed to share with the patient or for referral documentation. Now try it. Also, Excel can graph the values to show progress over time. Now we will create a flow sheet. Click on EMR on the top menu bar. Select flow sheet and the flow sheet menu appears. Here you can delete, review, or update current flow sheets or add new flow sheets. To create a new flow sheet, click new. Another window will appear, enter the name of your flow sheet, diabetes hypertension. Enter the caption, diabetes with hypertension as our explanation. Now click OK, which closes the window. Then click close to exit the flow sheets listing. Go back to the top menu bar and click EMR again. This time, select Flow Sheet Manager. This window will allow us to set the items we would like displayed in our flow sheet. Click More, the three dots, to select our flow sheet. Highlight our flow sheet, Diabetes Hypertension, and click OK. Our flow sheet appears in the name field. Next, click Add, and a blank row appears in the window. We will define our items here. The first item will be weight. Click on the box below name and type in weight. For type, select vitals from the pull down menu. Click more under associated item and select weight to tell the system to link that value to this item on our flow sheet. Next, let's add BMI under name. Again, select Vitals for Type and BMI for Associated Item. Our third item will be Blood Pressure. Select Vitals under Type and Blood Pressure for the Associated Item. But we will also add an upper limit for our goals to be 130 over 80 following current National Kidney Foundation clinical guidelines. Continue to add the following. Hemoglobin A1C. Type labs. Associated item hemoglobin A1C. And our goal or upper limit is seven. Next, add microalbumin. Type labs. 
associated item look for microalbumin creatine ratio. The goals are the upper limit is 30. Let's add serum creatinine. Type labs. And again, we're looking for creatinine serum. Next, let's add GFR. The type is labs. And again, we're looking for the GFR. The lower limit is 90 and the upper limit is 130. We can also add structured items here. Enter ACE ARB under name. Under type, select structure. Click the more button for associated item and a search window for available structured data questions will appear. These are the customizable questions in the HPI we added in section 1A of this video. Select HPI. For category, select endocrine, then diabetes, and diabetes again. And our previously customized structured data path appears. Select hypertension, which asks if the management of hypertension includes an ACE and R. We did not select the type of Rx because the system will only allow one medication name to be selected. And since there are multiple ACE or ARBs that can be used to manage patients with diabetes and hypertension, we chose to make this a broad category using the structured data format. Finally, let's add nephrology referral to our list. Type is structure. Click the more button for associated item and a search window for available structured data questions will appear. For section, select HPI. For category, select endocrine, then diabetes and diabetes again. And our previously customized structured data path appears. Select nephrology referral, which asks if one has been given and the status of that referral. Now our flow sheet list is complete. If we need to adjust the order of each item in the list, we can highlight the item and click the up or down arrows on the right side of the window. Now try it. To save, click OK. Let's go back into our patient chart. Instead of opening the progress note, another way to access the flow sheet is to enter the patient hub and select flow sheet. Click on diabetes hypertension under the flow sheet list and we see the values entered into the flow sheet and the items that need to be addressed for this patient. That concludes part one, section 1B.